Hello, this is Brandon, salesman with Landmark Implement, Smith Center, Kansas. Today I'm here to talk to you about the N500C and some monitor setup. Okay, so to start off with when we get in the monitor, the first thing I want to point out is this first page that we see here is our, is our Seedstar Run page or our home page for our drill. And you'll see at the top, the left corner, the rate, the downforce, the blockage, air pressure, and tank status. This is the main page we'll see the majority of the time operating the drill. So to start with, the first thing we need to establish is uh, exactly what the meter is in the drill and how we have the drill set up. So the first thing we'll do is push to main menu, bottom right corner of the display, and that'll bring up our menu page. And all of our drill functions will be under the Seedstar app in the bottom of the display. And when we open the seed star page, the first thing we'll see here is our, our run page. And at the bottom center, you'll see hard red winter wheat and that we have a white meter roll. So when we push that, it'll bring us to another menu page. And this is where we'll have the ability to change our rank selection. If in a soybean scenario, we run a run one rank versus both ranks, this is where we will make that change and go from potentially a dual rank to either the front or rear rank separately. In this situation, we're setting up for wheat, and so we will run the dual rank. Once we've established that, we also have to tell the tractor what meter we have in this drill. And for North Central Kansas, Nebraska, if we are planting wheat or soybeans, 90% of the time or all of the time, we will run the white meter roll. Uh, there are three options for an N540 or 542, whatever you have. Um, the low rate black, the medium black, and then the high rate, which is the white, which is what we are utilizing here today. Also at the bottom of this display, you'll see our displacement values or our calibration numbers for our meters. Um, when we do a calibration, these are the numbers we will be changing in order to fine tune our rates. Once we're back to our Seedstar home page, the other step we need to take is we are selected to do hard red winter wheat at the moment but if we wanted to change that and do another crop we would push the main menu bottom left corner or the work setup page and here we see our hard red winter wheat and this is where we would change that if we wanted to go to soybeans um, milo sunflowers whatever that may be this is where that change will be made but for this scenario, we are running a hard red winter wheat, which we have selected. Once you have that in the crop setting or the crop box in the top, you can just push OK. It'll take you back to your main run page. Once back to the main run page, here's where you'll make your adjustments on your rates. If you want to change your rate, just push the rate box in the top left corner. It'll take you to another page. This is where you can make changes. Up above that, you'll see an edit rates icon with a pencil beside it. You can click that, and this is where you can actually change your rates, your preset rates. If you want to have a different rate there and it is there, you can make your adjustment in this area here by clicking in the white box. Rate 3, we want 80 pounds. If we want to change that to 65, type 65 in there. Okay. Now we've got a 65-pound rate that we can adjust to as well. Also on your run page, once you've made a selection, either rate or downforce or whatever, the top left box with the grid there, that takes you back to your main page on your run page where you can see all of your settings displayed at one time. Downforce is another one to pay attention to. Uh, as I open the downforce box, you'll see right in the center an on and off button. If you do not turn on your downforce on this page, you will not have your hydraulic downforce activated. So that's one step when starting to drill that you'll have to remember to come in and do. Otherwise, it will affect your stand and your, your down pressure. As we scroll across the top, the next one is our relatively relative flow sections and boxes. This will tell you what your flow level is. Also to the right, the next one is your scale. Gives you a readout on your scale as well. The three dots to the right side gives you your meter speed, and this is where you are able to turn your current turn compensation 
on and off so the, the drill can speed up and slow down as you're going around turns. So the last and final step on this home page that you have to pay attention to is the EPG in the top right corner. Since this drill is electric drive, there is a power generator on the PTO shaft of this tractor or the other options to have a hydraulic power generator mounted on the back on the drill. Um, in this instance, we have a generator on the tractor PTO. And so the step for that is, number one, turn on the PTO shaft on the tractor and then turn the switch to on on the display. If that sequence isn't performed in that order, you'll get an error message on your display, giving you a message saying that, in essence, the sequence wasn't done correctly, and so you'll have to start over. So just remember, if you have the PTO generator, PTO on first, then the EPG button turned to on. It's reverse when it goes to shutting off the generator. First, turn the switch off on the display, followed by the PTO shaft going off. Thank you for watching, and if you have any more questions about the N500C, please see your landmark location.